Hey folks, how's everybody doing? Beautiful morning here in the Philippines. I actually moved my little indoor studio from the other room, which only had a little small window. A little bit dark in there. Over to this room, I got full sunlight in here. I mean, I'm sitting here talking to this camera and I'm working on my tan. I'm like multitasking. The only problem is I'm drinking coffee. And the reason for that is I'm out of beer. I'm a good, delicious coffee that wife number two made me. What really makes a difference is that Snickers creamer. Oh my goodness. It's like candy. Anyhow, just a quick video. Uh, it looks like it's going to be official that at least the Chinese Communist Party is blocked. Blocked from taking over that Hanjin shipyard in Subic Bay. If you go back a few years, um, let's, let's just step back in time a few years. The Hanjin shipyard uh, went bankrupt, the South Korean company. And there were various articles about, and just here's one here, Chinese shipbuilders consider buying giant yard in Subic Bay. And that was, oh my goodness, that, that was a problem because every Chinese company around the world, and, it, and it's to say that, you know, every Chinese company is basically run by the CCP. You could say the same shit about America, right? If uh, the U.S. government doesn't want you doing business in a certain country, you're not going to do business in a certain country. So there's levels of control, huge levels of control that governments have on these private companies, right? It's uh, what was the saying from that movie? It's a, I think of it in a minute. The dude uh, had a, made a statement that was pretty funny. It's when they were south of the border down in Mexico. And they were they were talking to the drug lord and uh, anyhow he said something about it's a free market not a free something anyhow. You ever play Russian roulette? Thing is, most people put the gun to the temple. Well, that's just stupid. Man's head off, boys. I had a chance to tell you what you want to know. That's up your suit, If the Chinese have taken over Hanjin, it's basically the fucking Chinese Communist Party. They're, it's the fucking Chinese Navy sitting right there in Subic Bay. Would have been horrible. Looks like a deal is is almost inked. This company called Cerberus to take over Subic Bay shipyard near South China Sea. Now, obviously, Subic Bay is a very strategic location. It's right there, you know, facing the South China Sea, where the Chinese are trying to claim that they basically own uh, half of the, the whole ocean. All right, so there you go. Cerberus to take over bankrupt Hanjin shipyard for $300 million. And former Hanjin Subic Bay shipyard in the Philippines being sold to Cerberus. And I hope I say that right. So anyhow, the good thing is it's not a Chinese company. So the CCP is effectively blocked, blocked from getting that naval foothold uh, there in Subic Bay. All right, let's see. See, parts of the facility will be leased. And let's see, there used to be about 20,000 workers there. So, uh, so it's expected to restart this year. That's good for the economy. That's good for the local people. When that place went went uh, tits up, I mean, 20,000 people, a lot of them skilled welders were just laid off. I mean, just put out the pasture. So, so that's going to bring in some jobs and, you know, help the economy over there in Zambales. That whole area will be affected. That's a good deal. It says, uh... A source with knowledge of the deal, not authorized to speak to the media, said the Navy will lease a third of the 300 hectares, which is about seven, was that 741 acres, from Cerberus for its own base. 
So there you go. Unnamed sources. Don't quote me. I'm just quoting open source reporting that's not substantiated. That the Philippine Navy will have a portion of that facility. And you can draw your own conclusions. If the Philippine Navy has it, then you know they can lease portions to the good old U.S. Navy. All right. Now moving right along to uh, the next slide here. All right, there's another article. Snatches Subi Bay port from China. <laughs> All right. Now here's the here's the interesting thing, right? I don't pay attention. I've never heard of Cerberus. Uh, if I have, it just slipped my mind. But I'm like, who the hell is this Cerberus? And guess who the chairman of Cerberus is? Boom! None other than Vice President Dan Quill. Yep, Dan Quill, former VP of the good old US of A, is chairman of Cerberus Global Investments, LLC. If you don't know who Dan Quill is, he served as a 44th Vice President, I believe that's correct, under President uh, George Bush. Now, George Bush Sr., not the... Uh, not, not the not the newer George Bush. So anyhow, draw your own conclusions for that, from that. But uh, basically, in a strategic standpoint, you know, my personal opinion was this, this shit's been in the works for for decades. But uh, there you go. At least. The CCP is blocked. We have a U.S. based company that's going to buy it out, take it over. The Philippine Navy's going in there. Uh, good deal. Good deal for everybody. If you don't know it, I'm not a big fan of the Chinese Communist Party. So, draw your own conclusions for that, folks. I don't know if you were up on that. If you've watched any of my previous videos where I've dropped some little hints about what I think is going to happen over there to that, that piece of land from Hanjin all the way up to Pundocket. Um, some of y'all who've watched all my videos, you know, you know what I'm talking about, where I'm coming from. Anyhow, just thought I'd bring that to your attention. If you're not up to speed on that, let's see what happens. But uh, again, I mean, really anybody that came in, well, other than the Chinese... Anybody that came in there and opened that port uh, are going to put a lot of locals to work, and that's good. That's going to infuse a lot of money into uh, Subic, Barreto, you know, down to Alongapo, all along that corridor there in Zimbala. So that's that's a good thing uh, for everybody over there that's a business owner. All right, that's all I wanted to share with you. That's all I wanted to share with you. CCP and old Xi Jinping blocked. I don't know if that's really breaking news. I mean, like I said, a few years ago when they were trying to get their hands on it, Chinese companies were trying to bid on it. Pretty much everybody in their right mind realized that was not a good idea. And we won't talk about certain other places and ventures uh, nearby there. Anyhow, there you go. That's all I wanted to say. And I'll leave you with... Uh, some screenshots of facts and figures for you to ponder in your viewing pleasure at the end of this video. Peace out. See y'all on the next one.